So why are four out of five of my GPUs hot? We'll find out in a second. Hey everyone, how's it going? So yes, I have five GPUs in this rig right now. This is the Octominer X12 version one that I showed earlier, which had 12 of them in there. Since then, um, I had to give six back to the pirate. They were only on loan. So I have five in there right now. And the reason why that top card is not overheating is the same thing I have on my test bench right now. It has a blower on it inside. I was testing it and it's only powered at 50%. Same with the case fans. They're only running 50%. The blower motor on that one is being powered directly from the fan controller from Octominer. And that's it. So let's go ahead, take this one card here that I got and all the rest of the hardware and let's fix this and get six cards running. Okay, so here it is out of the shed and you can see I only got five in here right now. The sixth one is sitting right there and we've moved the uh, intake fans from the inside to the outside just for clearance issues. Now these four are still stock. You see there's nothing put on the back of them. Underneath all this wiring mess, you'll see number five right there with its nice cooler. Now notice that blower motor. It actually has a metal center to it. This is a higher flow model than this one. I've tried this one, but you gotta ramp it up to 80, 90% instead of 50 or 60% to get good cooling. It just doesn't have enough static pressure. And literally those cost an extra dollar. Big freaking deal. Uh, this way we can keep the motor running slower because we're gonna tap into the con motor controller right here. There's actually 10 total plugs but at the same time, we got to be careful that we don't go over the amperage because this is only being supplied power by a PCIe 6 pin. So we're going to get really close, if not a little over, on the power for all these fans. So let me go ahead. I'm going to pull out these four cards, get them all set up, and we'll put it all back together. Okay, so I got it all done. I got all six cards in here. I got all the 3D printed uh, little horseshoe things here. Unfortunately, I could not 3D print these myself. I could not find the exact one I wanted on Thingiverse or any other 3D printing uh, website. So I ended up finding someone on eBay and I bought these. I think all six of them together were like 60 bucks or like $10 each. Uh, I got the fan, the blowers set up, and the wires are no longer a rat's nest. Everything is plugged into the uh, fan controller hub for the Octominer. And we're going to run just a single power to the wall, no internet, no nothing, no hashing, just a good 100% fan test because even though I only want to run these fans at like 50-60%, the fan controller from Octominer always starts out at 100% until it hits HiveOS and HiveOS tells it no, go down to 50% or whatever you set it to. So let me put the camera down, we'll plug it in and see if I screwed up and there's smoke or it's just a big roaring mess. Okay, four fans are on. All six blowers are on. I'm gonna let it run for 30 seconds, just make sure nothing overheats over here in this fan controller. I'll put the top on. It literally wants to lift the. It wants to lift the top. There's so much pressure in there. That's nice. Okay, so that tests out good. Let me screw on the top. Put it back in the shed. We'll plug it in for real. Go back down to the computer and get it to recognize the rest of the fans and get see if this actually works now. Okay, so we are back at the computer. And we can see we now have six GPUs because I reinstalled that sixth one. We only have five fans showing up. The four case fans and one blower so far because I had the blower already on here from testing for a week. Uh, no flight sheet. We can see everything being nice and cool right now, but it's not doing any work. Now, we got to get all those fans to show up that are on the fan controller. So what we're going to do, we're going to go all the way up here to the Octominer. Click Advanced Settings and we're going to recalibrate it. And it should help it find all the rest of the fans find their speeds and display them here. So let's let that run real quick. 
Case fans recalibrated successfully, and all of a sudden, yeah, now we have 11 fans total. They should calm down here in a few seconds and go back down to 50%. Okay, so I got most of the fans basically running at 50%, give or take a little bit. Let me refresh it again real quick. I don't know why two of these fans are running 35%. I'm still working on it. But the only way to get it to work correctly, I literally had to come over here, drop into shell, go to the backslash hive, backslash OPT, backslash octofan folder, and then run a ton of these freaking commands, each individual one. Dot backslash, ugh, dot backslash fan underscore controller underscore CLI dash D for the fan number, in this case fan number 10, dash V for the default. We want the default PWM to 128, which is basically half. After that, I got them all down and I don't know why some of these are still PWMing. I gotta go through more settings, but give me a few more minutes. I'll get this figured out. It all has to be done manually instead of directly through here because the way the fan controller was configured directly from Octominer. Okay, so I got all the fans to basically run 50% now. Uh, I also set the Octofan auto fan on minimum fan speed of 50% and a max speed of 60%. So this way it keeps the fans basically around the same speed. I also had to remember in the last part, make all the fans default PWM 128. That keeps it from having that 100% ramp when you first turn it on. And also when you first boot up in an Octominer normally you see them sitting at 100% and then they settle down afterwards. No, now they settle down immediately to 50% and that's it. So we shouldn't fry any wires. We should be okay. Let's go ahead and start mining some Block X on Autolycos 2 and see if the temperatures stay good now. Okay, and we are running good. All six cards are up and running. 203.2 mega hash per each card on Autolycos 2. Temperatures. 54, 58, 56, 59, 57, 59, and all the memory is in 60s. So, perfect temperatures. It's an 80 degree Fahrenheit day outside. All the fans are running 50 to 60 years, of 65% in here. But they're all running good. It's not a loud system. It's not pulling a ton of power. The whole thing, which you just barely can't see, is 909 watts, roughly, directly from it. And if we look on over here, we can see, yeah, we on Rigel. We are getting 203 mega hash each one. We can see the temperatures again. We can see our overclocks. We're running 1110 on the core with an offset of plus 200. And the memory is running with an uh, offset of 150. And she is running beautifully. This is going to be great also on Dynex because Dynex actually pulls a few watts less. So these will run even cooler and better. It's a very unique build with these cards. Uh, definitely interesting. The same thing. If you remember, go back in the video when I showed you when it was all built up. You still had six slots available, and they were sort of accessible. I wonder if I could fit six A2000s in there. Take it easy, everyone.